Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Terra Nil. Today's beverage is a very carbonated and indeed chilled die cola with lime. So welcome back to the game and in the previous video we were at the volcanic glacier polar biome and we restored the tundra, lichen, kelp forest and generic forest biomes. We rewild animals such as the elk, arctic fox, narwhal, penguin, polar bear and the snowy owl. Climate thresholds achieved 11 of 11. It was a little bit tight in some cases there. Two steps forward, one back. You know, uphill struggle, insert other references here for challenging but yes we managed to get it done but as I said not without uh, incident but well life that's how it is either way we managed to get that completed successfully and we now have lots of options for where we can go next so we can go to the subpolar river we can go to the polluted ford the scorched uh, caldera we can go over to abandoned quarry however there's also continental outskirts here which is uh, yes it's Previously, it was one I don't think you could go to until you've completed the rest of it. So I think we're going to head to that one now, just for sake of variety. Looks like we've got um, deers. Um, is that a bear, maybe? I'm not really too sure. I think now there's a bird of prey, that one. Anyway, we've got the uh, fine boss. Uh, people have said uh, I've been pronouncing that wrong. Probably still have. Anyway, it's uh, Deciduous Forest and Bamboo Embark. Let's see what happens here. So this is where we have... Uh, probably a challenging map actually because, well, there's going to be lots to contend with when it comes to the goals here and, ah, we've already been positioned in an area where there's uh, some rocks and some geothermal plants and I'm seeing a new type of, hmm, a new type of machine. We've got the corn filter which we have seen previously that's new but not new to us we've it's just new to the, the this expansion of the game uh, we've also got a pipe hub okay creates greener in line must be placed next to a river or a pipe can be rotated ah okay so i'm guessing the idea is that oh these are the um, old sort of um superstructures of the uh, like skyscrapers and such and i think that's the place where you build bamboo anyway let's have a quick look so we have, for the optional goals, I do, do stress it's optional, uh, obviously we do want the rain to begin. Um, most of these just require a certain level of toxicity, so under 20% total. We want to get that down to nothing. Um, okay, uh, wildflower bloom is over 22 degrees humidity. Fungi is 40 degrees humidity. Uh, we've got over 40, over 70, over 50... Uh, over 90 over 85 so basically we can have the humidity as high as we want that's for the goals not necessarily for growing things we'll come on to that later on for the hmm for the moss on boulders and moss on rock faces we need under 10 and 15 degrees some of it is like fireflies you need over five. Okay, so we're going to be fighting that back and forward. But let's let's just look at maybe, you know, clearing this thing out. So what do we have options for here? We've got uh, cloud seeder, combustor, dehumidifier, flash freezer. Not really too much of a concern there. Let's start with maybe putting some uh, water in place. So we'll put that there. This thing, I think, will expand to here, and then maybe, can't go any further, I think maybe there, that should suffice, and obviously this is going to uh, maybe connect up uh, there maybe, why not, although we're going to have to go over to there, and then over to here, and then this one goes in there, yeah, okay, that's fine, so we're just putting water where it should go, our building up here is going to be potentially a bit difficult, um... You know what we can do? We can probably... Can we fire one of these? We can. That would not really work, though, I don't think. No. No, we need to... We need to connect this one up somehow, but I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll still work on around these parts, and just getting it so that it flows correctly around here there we go so again generating some of our points like we need to uh, that can go there yes it can this cannot go there that is a bit of a shame mm, okay if we had rock there that would work out I'm guessing we're gonna have to maybe calcify yes calcify the land that can go there then that can go there perfect 
then that'll go around like so. We can then probably calcify here and then connect up that. Which, uh, can we go any further? No, I think we're going to have to calcify a bit more. I think I might be over... It feels like I'm over calcifying things. Yeah, that's not going to go back to here either. Which is a shame. Okay, I'll come back to that one. Um, for this part then, we can have a one in here and a one in here. And then I'm just going to preemptively move over to this side because I know we're going to have to do uh, stuff around here. And we'll place some water. Uh, actually, do I want to put that there? Or do I want to maybe... Mm, calcify there. Put that in here to then go to there. Which then means we can have water there. Okay, we're on, what, 17%? Still generating points, which is all good. All this is streaming across, which is what we want. We want also... Maybe to put water around these parts. This is interesting. It goes along like that. Um, there's actually really nothing around there, is there? Can all that be water? I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm going to look at potentially placing some of these things in, around, in and around the place. So this is going to uh, obviously generate the corn filter. And re re uh, it's corn filter and it just reduces toxicity. Um, let's go ahead and sort of just do a couple of corns like this. And maybe something like that. Okay, so that's just bringing down that toxicity. And then we are going to start using the... Yeah, we're going to start using the uh, pipe... What's it called? Pipe hub. Mm, that goes in there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. All right, that's uh, working well. So we can place this in... Ah, so it won't go up there. So you can place it adjacent to, adjacent to a river. So it will do that. That'll work, yeah. Excuse me. Hmm. Let's maybe... do that. And then have... maybe another one... Like that, just to clear this area. I'm just conscious of the points, although if I was to do that, that's pretty good. And that would be quite good there as well. If we were to, however, do that, it would be better, would it? Yeah. Like that, that's going to clear all this. Yep, that's fine. And that'll work, work there, maybe. 66, yep, that's fine. Do another one around here. Because of where it is, though... Ah, see, the calcifying of the land, that's not really helped us out there in this particular front. But we should be okay here. And... That's interesting. It can only go up to there. Ah, oh, because the pipe... Ah, the pipe actually physically hits the buildings. Interesting mechanic. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not really focusing on... The sort of temperature stuff. I'm, I'm just getting on with cleaning things. Uh, let's say the minutia of the other stuff we can focus on later on, if need be. We can always chill things down and such. Um, this one's not really going to be... That's just that's just straight up. No. Yeah. Just breaking even on that one. Let's maybe spin this around. Uh, clean here. The thing is, I'm aware that what I'm doing here, this is actually, because of the the layout, it's actually probably best just to go for the larger area, but, yeah, haven't. Um, what I will do, though, is, now that I think of it, is this. So, fire the excavator. There it goes. And that's going to then allow me to calcify that area to then put the art. Darn it, it's just one off. You're joking. Really? Really? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and I could do that. That'll work out. Only for 330 odd. So that does that. That's. Oh, that's carved a really big uh, hole there. Interesting. So we'll calcify around here. To then go to there, and then we'll go up to there. 
Right. Let's start doing maybe a large area because you see we are starting to run low on some of these points. 230 up this stage. Mm, I don't know if it's best to maybe do that and then go the other way. Yeah, I think so. Let's maybe put it... That's a fairly big area. Right, that's fine. Obviously the rains are going to have to do some heavy lifting on this one. 36 to there. We can't really put it on here because of the calcification. That's okay, yeah, that's fine. If we do need to fire another one of these, we can. Mm. And actually, I probably will. So that's going to fire. Open that up to water. To then... Oh, you'd think it would go further. Ah, not enough water, that's why. Now we can now we're talking. Um If I was to maybe do that. That's gonna help us out, I think. Yeah. We're on 83 if we do that. And so to toxicity has actually jumped to 36%. Went down, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, this is not... It's not being cleaned up at all. Oh, that seems like a good place to put it. Let's go for... Mm, that one. Pipe network there. There's a bit of an area here that we can probably look at doing. We'll do that. And that's going to be actually really good. Just trying to get the best possible. Mm, 83 there. Yeah. So, I mean, this is not much going on at the top there. I think this is the most time we've ever spent on just cleaning things up. But it's also the first time I've used this... Uh, Keep forgetting the name, Pipe Hub. Uh, 62 if it was there. 75 if it was there. 75. And obviously things are going to go on top of this Pipe Hub as well, so we have to see how we get on with that one. Let's probably place this in there, so we're getting all of this area. And more pipes can go around here. Actually, we might be able to get a bit further with that one. Out there. Just conscious of... Uh, very conscious of the... amount we have here. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. 83. And it, you can connect to another pipe network like that. So, 33. It's all, it's all positive, which is good. A new animal species has appeared already? Yeah. Okay, well, we must be doing something, right? Let's go there. And I think... It'd be of some benefit to maybe... Clear around here. Like that. Now this is where it gets interesting. Oh, that was 87. Uh, 98. Oh, there's some more animals as well. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, for this one then, we need to maybe clean up around here. Then again, connect to the pipe network. Go for that one. I like that. It all joins up. It's pretty good. And can we do the same thing here? Yes. Uh, we've got fungi in forests, moss on boulders. We're down to 15% for toxicity. What we'll do is, I think, get everything cleaned up around here. I think one of these pipe placements will probably get this done. Yeah, there we go. There's that. There's 100% for the uh, cleaning of things. Right, we're not, now we're on the biome stuff. So, this is where it's a bit more difficult, I think. So, the beehive... 
requires, oh, it's currently an ideal humidity, but it will grow at any humidity. The conservatory, it's in good conditions at this stage. Bamboo is in ideal. So, I mean, bamboo, you just place around there and you just get that. Uh, we've also got a rock hopper now. Okay. So, a beehive needs to be where we've got... Uh, okay, beehive is... Swarm with... Uh, swarm pollinating bees, yeah, greenery. Uh, we need, we need, we need trees. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be conservatories, and those go on top of the cleaning things. Retry. It's telling us to retry. I don't know. I think we're, I think we're doing okay. Um, although is that the game telling us no, no, you're not doing okay at all. You're doing poorly. Uh, backup game. <laughs> All right, let's see about maybe going uh, for, can we do that? 20 there. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's not, oh, that's, that actually goes, oh, there's actually two buildings there and it goes in between the two. Clever, I like it. Right, let's see if we can do some bamboo stuff. So bamboo, 80, bamboo. More. Uh, bamboo. Uh, up here maybe, but I think I'd like to m potentially get some more. That's going to clean that up. Then the pipe network. That's not really going to go anywhere. It's just it's a bit, bit of a mess around there, isn't it? It'll get a bit more. It's not ideal. But it's still positive biome. Okay. And then for this, for the conservatory, we can just sort of place them around. And then you can place, like, the beehives. New species have appeared. Excellent. Um, a bit disappointed that that's not... Yeah, there we go. Pipe network. Uh, a panda has appeared. Okay, fine. Let's... I think we're going to be increasing humidity. I think that's the main goal here. Because if we go over... Uh, yeah, we need to do the under temperature first, I think. So we'll go for humidity. But I can probably... To be honest, I could probably just get all of these planted first. It feels like, it feels like that's what we can do. So there's all those done. I do think it's going to be a, a bit of an issue when it comes to the uh, the animals, but we'll see. I'm just getting some mixed uh, areas here. There's a bird of prey, which they hang around here. It's a gale eagle, yes, and a bit more, and we should be there for the rest of it um, 15 so there's actually all of the biomes restored there we just need to do the animal part now so we've actually got already five of ten done which is good so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on increasing the humidity so we want cloud cedars don't we so let's work on that. So we'll start seeding some clouds. How are we doing for points? We're actually doing okay. It does feel like I'm gonna have to maybe calcify a bit more of the land. So we're just increasing that humidity to get ivy overgrowth. Uh, and then it's just increasing temperatures and such. Okay. Yeah, why can't we place around here? Oh, it's because it needs to be calcified. Uh, can we get that? I'm going to put it there because then we can do that and that. And then we can go with a cloud seed. That's 8%. We will have to do some combustors as well, I think. I think 
maybe some power over here would be beneficial. So that's going to be another one of those to go power, to then go power. Only just made it over there, but it is it is done. We're going to another, get another 7% there. What are we needing for humidity? Ideally over 85%. So, we can get another 2% over there. 5% there. And we're looking for over 85 is our total... Total, like, the goal, basically. Is it around here that we have yet to place one? Hmm... I do think we could probably do that and that. It's not going to be much. Probably only 1% if that. No, no, we can get a 2%. I think there was a 1% up here that we could place as well. Yeah, we can get a, get a 1%. 85, but it's not over... Oh, it is. It's classed as over 85. Okay, so I think now then... Uh, temperature... Temperature, temperature. Oh no, that's ninety percent. Uh, but that'll change, right? Let's just, let's just do temperature. So let's go for temperature. So that's going to burn that area, and that's con. Oh no, wrong one. I was going to say the combustor. That's concerning. Um, this might start altering the biomes a bit, but it's all right. Let's get a five there. Ivy overgrowth, migratory birds return. Let's maybe combust there. That's another five. How are we doing for rain? Another three degrees and the rains return. There it is. So rains begin. We just need vegetation bloom now. But I'm just going to put it to max speed because now that the rains are going to turn up, that's going to alter things anyway. So while I'm working on this, I'm just going to put in a couple of these, the like things where you, the, the, like the logs, so you can like move up and down around different places. So these are just it's just a general good rule to put them in areas where you've got hills or you've got crossing points. Um, that sort of thing. It just allows the animals to go elsewhere. Like over here, for example, this says uh, not enough food. They need more forest. So if I was to place one of these there and there, they should then be able to get over to the forest. Has any of what I've just said actually worked? <laughs> Well, we can do that. That's more forest. Surely that'll be... Yeah, that's in a in a good territory. Yeah. It's going up now. We're actually 10 of 10. We've actually completed it. Just vegetation now. Which is, again, more... More temperature. I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can get over to... To that. See, it's just too close to a cloud cedar. Too close to another cloud cedar. Mm. I mean, what I could do is mm, maybe use a rock hopper. No, I don't think I need to. I need more water. What's the best place? To, where's the best place to put that? That would be okay. And I don't really care if we damage the, the land around it because it's it's raining. So that'll um, sort of get that done anywhere. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, too close. It could go around here if there was calcification. Feels like it, we should have used a rock hopper actually. 4%. There we go. There we are. Right. 
we will finish this scenario off. So we're going to land our... Land our uh, airship. And we'll also use <laughs> the drone module. And that basically allows us to fly around. So, how do we do this? Well, we need to use... The... beacons and we can then use on rocks yeah on rocks we can use the uh, rocks we can use the beacons okay right I get it now so on the rocks we can use the beacons but we'll still use the recycling silos just to sort of collect everything up so we'll do that and then for example we could go there but if we were to do that, that would help us out as well, which is 475. We'll collect up maybe those ones. Because of the size of the collection here, it's actually... Is it worth using the cans or just using these? I actually think it might just be... Oh, actually, let's place that there quickly. Will it do it? Yes, only just, but we got there. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually worth it uh, using those because of the because of the size of the collection on this. It's the same size. It just requires rocks. But there's rocks everywhere. Don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to connect up that. Click that one. And we'll do that. Then that. You can see as well, they're actually rebuilding the machine here. What's actually called? Airship. Yeah. Oh no. Pandas don't like what's happening over there. I don't know why. I mean, I'll put them a little, little wooden bridge in there. Okay. Let's see if I can get all of these in one go. It's possible we can get a big chunk of these. And that one goes there to collect all three cans. Yeah. So there's that one. And then finally, I think it's that one. And then that disappears. There we go. And I think that's the biome pretty much done. Let's take off. And there we go. That's been a bit of Terra Nil. Cards on the table. I was actually quite worried about that one. Oh, I think I might have said that about every single scenario so far. But no, they, certainly this one was... I was more worried about it. But the previous one seemed more difficult. But then, well... Certainly wasn't uh, well at the time of recording. So, mm, yeah, happy with that one. Wasteland Reclaimed. That is the first area of the... Is it the Continental, is it? Let's have a quick look. Hopefully there's no firefights in it. It is... Let's have a quick... Oh, I like the way the oceans get uh, all cleansed up as well. 46% progress, that is the continental outskirts. We have one, two, three biomes restored. All of the animals discovered, that is deers, boars, peacocks, pandas, eagles, and Canada gooses, just gooses, and geese. So, clam thresholds achieved, nine of nine. Brilliant, okay. So we do have options to go to the flooded city. That's probably gonna be a bit more difficult. However, we have lots of options. I think, just for variety, we're going to head to an area that we haven't been to in a while. I'm not going to do the last abandoned quarry here, but I think we might go over to this uh, scorched caldera. Tropical forest, lake vegetation, and bamboo. Interesting. Tropical area. Yeah, I think we're going to do that next. Why not? Either way, we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of Terra Nil. Hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.